Hey guys, Brett here, and in this video, I'm taking a look at a new software called Video Hero Pro. So, what exactly is Video Hero Pro? Well, it is a web based video and graphics editor. And I've gotten review access, and here I am about ready to log into the members area. And the first thing that I notice is that this website does not appear to be a professional quality website. It does not look like a quality Web 2.0 website. What this looks like to me is something that was made in like 1999 by some high school kid. Um, I haven't seen websites being made like this in a long time. Um, and it definitely doesn't look professional quality to me at all. It looks horrible to me, actually. But I understand that beauty is in the eye of the beholder. And just because I don't think the website looks professional does not necessarily mean that the software is not professional. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to log in together, and we're going to check it out together. Now, the problem that I had from the door, though, is that I forgot my password. You can see it asks for a username and a password. And it's not actually a username that it wants. Uh, your username is actually your email address. So I don't know why it doesn't just say, you know, email address here. Uh, but either way, though, the problem that I had was that I forgot I forgot my password. Uh, when I asked for review access to the software, I was given an, a username and a password, but it was emailed to me. And I get so many emails that the email that was sent to me with my password in it was just lost in all the clutter because I got it a couple of days ago. So I want to go ahead and reset my password. And I'm going to go ahead and click on the reset my password button. And you can see nothing happens. It just brings me back to the login page, except for now it says username or password was not found. Please try again. So it was almost as if me pressing the reset my password button was like submitting the sign up form, uh, which of course I didn't put anything in, so it didn't sign me in. So maybe I thought maybe I have to put my my username in here, you know, put it into the username field. And instead of clicking login, I click reset my password. So let me go ahead and try that. And it just brings me back to the login page again. So I lost my password, and there is a reset my password link, but it doesn't seem to work at all. Or at least I can't figure out how to make it to work. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and pause this video and go back over to my Yahoo mail account and search through all those emails to find the email that they sent me with my password, and then I'll be right back. All right, so I got my password, so let's go ahead and log in to the software. And we are going to log in. All right, so when you first log in, it says this, thank you for becoming a member. Uh, it has a couple of links below here. Basically, thank you links, unannounced bonuses. Uh, these are from affiliates, of course. But anyway, I'm going to go right into the software. And to do that, I'm going to click on that link right there. All right, so this is the main software, and underneath here you can see a couple of notices. It says, before you start, watch the training videos here. So let's go ahead and click on that. And it has a welcome video, and it has two training videos. Um, and I've watched these training videos. They're not very good. They're not very detailed. Uh, you know, they were kind of painful to watch. The audio quality in them is really bad. Uh, they were incredibly boring. Um, but I mean, you can watch these videos if you want, but they're not very good. But anyway, let's go back over to the software itself. The second notice that they give you right away, it says, please must read. You cannot download raw footage, audio, or graphics. Now, that's, I, I didn't really understand that because let me go over to the sales page and show you something in the sales page. So this is the actual sales page for that software, and you could say it says that it includes over $22,500 worth of high-quality royalty-free stock videos and graphics, uh, 300 awesome audios, thousands of icons. Uh, so there's a whole bunch of stuff that they're including here, a whole lot of content, but it says that you cannot just download that content. So like if I just want the audios, like maybe I'm thinking that, hey, I'll buy this just because I'm interested in those 300 audios. Well, that's no good because I can't just download those audios. You know, I can't, I can't take them to my computer and then use them with some other type of video editor like uh, Easy Sketch Pro or Explainio or Camtasia. You can't do that. You can only use these audios and these graphics and the stock footage that they include with this particular software, which is kind of pointless. I mean, like, 
maybe I don't want to use the software. Maybe I'm just included, in, you know, interested in the content that they're providing. And of course, they don't mention that at all, that you can't download this stuff on your own. You don't see that until you actually log into the software. Now, that wouldn't be too bad if this was a high quality video editor, but it's not. It's actually really bad, as I'm going to show you in a second. Alrighty, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to upload a video from my computer. I'm just going to take a little test video here. I'll click on open. It's going to load up my video. I'll enter a name. Okay, so my video is all loaded up. And from this point, what I can do now is add things to my video. So I can go over here and I can like pick one of these audios. And you can see I can preview the audio. I can go ahead and click on the play button and it will let me preview the audio and when I find one I like I can go ahead and double click on it and it will then add it into my video so now my video has a nice little background track I can do the same thing with like text so if I want to add some text I can go ahead and type my text in here and then add it over to my video the same thing with images if I find an image and there are a lot of images here but if I find an image that I want to add into my video I can go ahead and double click on it and it will then add it into my video and I can go ahead and then move it around I think I added two by accident okay so I can go ahead and move it around I can resize it I can put this into my video if I like and I guess it's pretty cool that you can add graphics and text and things like that over your videos. The problem is that, as I said before, this isn't really a real video editor. I mean, you can't, like, splice in other videos. You can't trim the video. You can't cut the video. You can't edit the video in any way as far as its visuals or its audio goes. You can't increase it or decrease it. Um, you know, this is definitely not... A video editor I mean it's it's not a video editor in any way it's more like you take an existing video and you put things over the existing video the problem with that though is that you have to have an existing video in the first place and if you're making any type of video you're going to need a real video editor for example even in these review videos that I do very often I'll you know I'll stumble my words or I'll say something wrong and then I'll just pause and then say it the right way and then go back to my actual video editor and then edit out the spoken words so anybody that's making any type of videos even like screencast videos like I'm doing right now is going to need an actual video editor and if you have an actual video editor you can already put graphics and text and stuff like that over your videos you don't need this extra software to do that now another thing that I want to show you is let me go ahead and clear this right here and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with one of their pre-made videos uh, so they got videos right here and there is a whole bunch of them that are pre-made that I can go ahead and start with which would be great for like an intro or something uh, so let me go ahead and click on that and add it in and you can see right here you can see they have it branded the video has their branding in it, and I did render this and uh, it does show their branding when you render this and this of course comes back to this part down here where it says you cannot download raw footage audio and graphics uh, which is a real shame because the only thing that's of real value in this software is these the raw footage and the graphics and the stuff like that the audio that they're giving you that's really the only value here because like I said I mean if you're making videos you're gonna need a video editor and this is not a video editor this doesn't do anything that a regular video editor can do but it does not do a lot of things that a regular video editor can do so the only real value here is in the content that you get and that content is not included here Unless, of course, you use this software, which is inadequate for any type of actual video production. All right, so remember at the beginning of the video, I said that it is a video editor and it's a photo editor. So this does include a photo editor, and here it is right here. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new one. Uh, you know what? Let me cancel this. Let me just upload something from my computer to mess around with here. I will upload my logo here. We'll open it and you can see it does upload my logo and then it has some tools here where I can crop it, rotate it, resize it, round it. I can change, you know, put colors inside of it if I want to. Uh, I can add text to it. There's a couple of brush tools for like pens to like do handwritten text on here. 
Uh, I can put some filters to it, so that's pretty cool. I can change the brightness, the grayscale, the invert, uh, the sharpen. Uh, so as far as this goes for a basic like like graphics editor, uh, it's pretty cool. Um, it's it's nothing more than like paint can't do or something like that. Um, or a ton of like free photo editors that you can get anywhere on the internet, but the photo editor seems to work okay. It's not something that I would buy this software for in any way, um, but it's pretty cool that they included that. But this is kind of just like an add-on thing, really. I mean, it's not a reason why people are going to buy the software. People are going to buy the software because they want to be able to make videos. And as I said, the video editor itself is definitely inadequate as far as an actual video editor goes. The only thing that's really valuable here is the, the content that they give you, which is like the pre-made videos, uh, the intros and outros, the audio, things like that. But those things aren't really usable because since the video editor itself is inadequate and you can't download just the content and use it with an actual real video editor, you're kind of stuck. Another thing that I noticed uh, that you can see if you look in the upper of your screen here, uh, I've moved the uh, recording area up so that you can see it, is this software is actually built on WordPress. Like who in the world builds a software on WordPress like you know using WordPress for like a membership area or something like that is one thing but building like an actual software on WordPress is you know maybe it doesn't mean so much to you guys because you guys aren't technical people or may not be technical people but nobody does this I mean this is just generic um, so at this point I'm not really too impressed with the software I mean it's not horrible uh, it's just not very functional and it's not really solving the problems that people are going to have since, you know, if you're going to be making videos, you're going to need a real video editor. Uh, so this isn't a real video editor. So I really don't see this solving any actual problem that people are going to have unless, of course, it is extremely reasonably priced. Now, real video editors that have real functionality tend to be a little bit more expensive. So if this is extremely well priced, it may be worth it to somebody who just wants to do some really light editing uh, on some videos but if we go over to the sales page we can see that it actually fails in pricing as well so here we are back on the sales page and this time I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna show you the pricing of this software let's go all the way down here and you can see the most basic version which basically doesn't come with much of anything at all is $27 the more advanced version is 37 and the pro version which is what I'm testing which has all the content that you're not allowed to download anyway uh, is $57 but what really blows me away is if you look right here this is a monthly fee like $57 a month to use this generic video editor in this poorly made website that has very little functionality and comes with a whole bunch of royalty free audio and, and video and stuff that you're not allowed to download and use in an actual video editor anyway. I just don't see the value here guys. You know the software that I use is called AVS Video Editor. It is a professional quality video editor. It can do everything that this thing can do a lot more easy and it can do a whole lot of other things that this thing can't do and I paid $59 for the entire software suit one time. Uh, I don't see any reason whatsoever why anybody should be paying $57 a month for this software. Uh, the, the, the software itself is inadequate as a video editor and the only real value like I said is the content which you're not allowed to download and use in another software so I'm gonna say that this one just doesn't have the value uh, you know it's priced too high and the value is just not there I definitely wouldn't buy this myself and uh, I'm gonna suggest that you know it's not worth investing in